How are you guys doing? Pretty good. You good? Yeah. Overall. Awesome. <laughs> Ready to do this? Let's yeah. do it. All right. Nathan, I love you and I like you. <laughs> I thank God every day for you. I can't believe I've been blessed to love you the past five and a half years. And today in front of all of our friends and family, I get to marry you and love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> The great philosopher, Michael Scott, once said, <laughs> Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Sabrina, you're far better than a gold medal. You, you are. And these are not in order of importance, by the way. My best friend, my confidant, the only one who will make me rhubarb sauce anytime rhubarb is even remotely in season. In the five and a half years we've been together, we've had some amazing once-in-a-lifetime moments, and we've endured some hard times too. Whatever curveball came our way, you were always there, <laughs> cheering me on, making me laugh, encouraging me to be my best and true self. You walk through life with me, both spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and all of the other words ending in me. <laughs> We've been through a lot together, good times and bad, and I'm thankful to have you by my side on this roller coaster we call life. I'm also thankful to have you by my side on actual roller coasters, since that's one of the things we both love in life. I loved you yesterday, I love you today, and I vow to love you for the rest of my life. I vow to always support you, encourage you, and to be honest with you. I vow to be your travel partner for life, <laughs> to ensure you visit all the theme parks, <laughs> and I vow to always dance with you, whether it's in the middle of Disneyland, at a concert, or in our own home. I love that you love it when I smile, and then that makes you smile, and then I smile bigger, and we both just end up looking ridiculous with our massive smiles. I'm ready to marry you in the good times and the bad times through pandemics, tornadoes, earthquakes, cancel vacations, hurricanes, snowstorms, and maybe even a zombie apocalypse that I'm definitely prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> I've realized that once you become an adult, you always know exactly what to do. But in a much more real sense, you actually have no idea what to do. <laughs> Let's keep figuring it out together and growing better together. I love you, Sabrina. Let's do this thing. Woo! Yay! I knew it! I knew it! Hi, Corco. Oh, wow.
Wow! You look beautiful. Hi. What do I do? What do I do? Am I allowed to kiss you yet? I don't think yeah. I am. Oh, I am? Hey, you look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what? My face is already hurting from smiling, so we're gonna you're gonna have to stop making me smile. Can what? you believe it? What? That we're getting married? Yeah. It's starting to sink in a little more. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Throughout our relationship, we've always done things the Nate and Sabrina way. And I vow to continue to always do things the Nate and Sabrina way. It's the best way. Sorry. I declare I do! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> she didn't just say it, she declared it. All right, I want to talk to you two specifically right now about love. Love is a word we hear daily. Uh, it's common, it's ordinary in our speech. It's used to describe so many feelings. I love you. I love my family. I love to travel. I love nut pods. <laughs> <laughs> when we hear of love in stories, movies, it's seen as a feeling or just a mysterious thing that we, we fall into. We envision the throes of romance and adventure and emotion and that we'll experience with a special person. These things are fun. They're pretty great, but they're not love. So I propose a new definition. I propose that love is a choice. It's not just a feeling. Love is a verb, not a noun. It's an action. It's not a feeling that slips away. That wonderful feeling, it, it isn't love. It's romance. Romance is pretty great. It's real. <laughs> I'm getting married. <laughs> but right now, that romance, it comes easy to the two of you. As time goes on, romance will ebb and it will flow because love and romance, they're not just a treasure we find, something we fall into or stumble across by accident. Romance is created. It's a wonderful byproduct of loving each other well. We can't find it, we've got to work for it. Well, here's what I'd like to do. We've all heard Corinthians 13 at every wedding we've been to. Instead of me reading it, I'd like to, for you guys to take a moment and just just read it to one another. Love is patient, love is kind. Love isn't jealous, proud, or rude. Love doesn't demand its own way. Love doesn't hold a grudge. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is hope-filled. Love endures through all circumstances. Let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's look at what the Bible has to say about this. Corinthians 13 says, love, love is sexy, love feels good. Love looks good in a blazer or those tight pants. Love looks good in a little black dress. Love sweet talks and showers me in gifts, sex, attention, endless back rubs. <sighs> no, that's not the Bible, sorry guys. That's probably a line from The Bachelorette. Th those aren't love. Those are great though. They are wonderful, but those are romance and passion. Remember, we experience those when we choose to love well. <laughs> Big day, honey. Yeah, I'm up, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I'm not, I think it's coming the other way, you know? <laughs> I want to challenge you to, starting today, to abandon love as a feeling and choose to let your love be an action. You guys ready to accept that challenge? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs>
As I thought about how to present this speech, several ideas crossed my mind. Let's do an MLA-style essay on why Nate is a great friend. What makes a friend? I've had many friends in my lifetime, but I can narrow it down to a proverbial handful that have stuck through the thick and thin and come out stronger together. Nate is one of those true friends. Another time, Nate lost a bet that required him to ask every female he saw that day on a lunch date until someone agreed to it. Rumor has it, that's how he met Sabrina. In closing, I hope we never end this essay. May our work side to be the scroll that can't contain the whole, though stretch from sky to sky. I may have the title of best man, but I think that at least for the four of us, I can say wholeheartedly, and maybe even for those others, we are all best men because we've had you in our lives. So cheers to the bride and groom. We look forward to spending even more time with all of you, not only tonight, but in the future, and going on adventures and vacations and winery trips and whatever with all of you. It's going to be a lot of fun. We love you all. Just thank you for spending your evening with us, and let's party. <laughs>